All right, so next we have Porpoise, which is the one that we ran into earlier, out of place. <laughs> And I'm not worried if these are a little streaky. It's just, again, it's because of the wax, protective wax coating that's on them. I just didn't feel like the, taking the time to deal with it. Uh, and it's just a, a, an initial swatch, so it kind of doesn't matter. I'll do another swatch for my big uh, swatch books that I have. This is nice. Definitely has a, a porpoise vibe to it. Definitely. It's a little scratchier too, I might add. Alright, so. Black Olive is the next one. Ta-da! And this paper is a little weird. It's super smooth. Like, um, it's just a heads up. It's like super smooth. It's like the kind of paper you would expect to find in uh, some of these Korean books. Like super super smooth. I don't know how anybody colors on those. It, the paper is just, you ha get wax blooms so easy uh, because the paper just has no tooth to it. Uh, this that's what this paper reminds me of if I'm being honest uh, I'm not knocking Korean books I have several but I, I I make copies of the pictures in the books and then color those because I just don't care for the how super smooth the paper is it just absolutely annoys me all right so Moonstone hmm, that's an interesting name I, I wonder who comes up with the names for these. I don't know. This is gorgeous. I like it. I really like this color. This might be one of my favorites so far. Hmm. Very nice. That's partly why it's, it's laying down. It's just some of it's the paper. It's not making for a nice smooth, you know, gradient. Ugh. Oh, well. It's all right. Hmm. That's a nice color, though. I like it. Okay, so next we have... Oak. Wow, this looks nothing like. That's wild. Okay, this is what the um. Focus, focus. That's what it looks like. Okay. And this is what it looks like on the. It it, it looks completely different. But this is why you should always swatch your pencils. Because you never know. This looks nothing like that. I mean, look at the two. They just don't look at all. It's just wild to me. It looks one way and comes out another. Oh, it's a gorgeous color, though. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Oof. That, that is definitely one of my favorites so far. Mocha. Yep. So I, and I'm double checking now from pencil to swatch sheet. I'm like, I'm paranoid now. <laughs> I'm like so paranoid. <laughs> it's going to be all whacked up again. Okay.
if you guys are enjoying this and having as much fun as I am, consider uh, liking and subscribing and sharing it. I would really appreciate it. I am trying very hard to get to 500 subscribers because I think that it that would open up different things that I can do uh, with my channel. So, you know, your help would definitely be appreciated. And it costs you absolutely nothing. I don't ask for super chats or anything of that sort. Just liking and commenting nicely. Be nice, though. Um, is all I ask. And if you found it really, really useful, just share it. Let other people know. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, so. Coco. Let's move this over a little bit. I'll clean these swatches up later. I figure right now it's just important just to get the basic color down. I know me and being the bit OCD that I can, I'll, put, I'll be going back and fixing, cleaning it up. Because <laughs> I'm just that way. Anybody else like that too? with their swatches, whether it be pencils or paints or whatever. Anybody else the same way? Let me know in the comments if you like that. I'd like to think I'm not alone, but who knows. All right, so last but not least, and still in order. <laughs> oh my God, it's been a day. Dark chocolate. This one is not very sharpened, so. I'm going to give it just a little sharpen, which will also get that wax casing off of it. Oh. Ooh. That's um, pretty accurate, actually. Now, what I would suggest for blending with this is um, a little gamsol and a q-tip but make sure you dab the q-tip on a paper towel several times first otherwise you will just take off 90 percent of the uh pigment that's on the paper so the more gamsol you have the more it's gonna take up uh, and pick it up so some, less is more in this case If you would like me to do a whole video on blending techniques and things like Gamsol, drop it in the comments and let me know. I would be more than happy to revisit that because um, I know it's been a long time since I did it. So, and I've learned things since I, since then too. So, uh, let's see. Make sure we're in frame here. Okay, good. So, next one is sweet lilac and I'm going to check these real quick because I want to make sure that they're not jacked up like <laughs> order wise that the other ones were because uh that was like yeah 25 26 so far so good everything seems good so far 33 34 Four, two, two, two. I'm double checking really quick. 36, 37. These all seem to be good. So I guess that was just one little hiccup. Uh oh, here we go. Nope. Okay. These ones are a little messed up, but not too bad. So 41, and then we jumped straight to 43. I'm pretty sure there's a 42, which is out of order. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. I would highly, highly recommend you check. See, and then 46 is out of order. It should be here. Oh my gosh, these guys, I'm gonna have to, I think that I'm gonna file um, a bit of a complaint because that's, if I hadn't caught that, that would have messed up my whole swatch. So I think I will be emailing them about that. Let's resume, shall we? All right, let's try this again. God, that just, that annoys me. That's, that is, that is a quality control issue, people. And sometimes the quality control doesn't always involve the 
pencil itself or the medium itself it's how they package it that is a quality control issue which i will be addressing with them politely and respectfully all right let's make sure we have the right pencil sweet lilac 25 yes all right everything else is in order all right <laughs> gosh i don't know man y'all life's been crazy lately I, it's been an interesting summer but not a bad one though how, how have you guys this summer's summer been so far everyone having a good summer i've been to one concert already it was a christian concert up at a church it was great got to do a meet and greet with them and so i could just smile and i got a fo signed photo it was great and i got to go with a good friend which made it even better oh this is gorgeous you guys oh this is definitely one of my favorite colors so far love this look how pretty that is i will hold this up very close to the camera or zoom in it something like that so you can see up close and I will include a photo with it somewhere in the video, either at the beginning or the end, um, so you guys can get a good look. Because sometimes this doesn't always give an accurate portrayal. Sorry. All right. So anyway, we have here Purple Dusk. Well, I can actually read the labels on these. Whoa. That's mind blowing to me. You guys, I my, just let you know, my vision is really bad. And so nine times out of 10, I can't read a label on a pencil. Like especially the, the luminous, the whole line's the worst um, because they're so reflective. These are not reflective like that. Um, geez, I wish I had a pencil. I, I would show you what I mean. Uh, but you see how, come on, focus, focus. You see how it's very matted, except for that shiny little band? This makes it so much easier for me to read. Ugh. I can read this without using, you know, help. <laughs> Old lady help. Oh, okay. That's kind of great. That's a bonus. I will definitely, you know compliment them on that when I send them an email because you know if you're gonna give somebody a hard time over something you should try to say something nice too if you can you know instead of just being like totally negative if you can find something good to say um too I think that's it, it's nice to do that I, that's just you know me I guess that color is gorgeous wow Oh, okay. I'm digging these purples, these muted purples. Love these. I'm going to be using the absolute crap out of these. Oh, okay. What will Wildberry? Okay. But the fact that I can read these without help is just fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. This one's laying down very nicely for not being pre -sharp, uh, sharpened by me. It's laying down pretty good. So that leads me to believe these ones right here are a little scratchier, which is partly why they laid down like that. And these ones are not. Some of that's that they're darker, but I think some of it's they might just be scratchier because of whatever pigment they use pigments that they used. That's just my food for thought. Um Dusty Lavender. Ooh, I love all these mid lavenders. <gasps> They're so gorgeous. Uh, this one has gray in it. I can I can see the gray. I that's why that's what gives it its muted appearance uh, is the gray that's added, especially in this case. Sometimes white will do that, but it it tends to tint. But this they added either a little bit of gray or a little bit of black. This reminds me of grayed lavender almost. What do you what do you guys think? Does this one look like gray lavender to you? Here, I'll hold it up so you guys can see. Let me know in the comments if you think is it that one. If that looks like gray lavender to you. Let me know in the comments. I think it does. It's very very similar. I might if you guys want, 
I can do a comparison chart between these and whatever prismas they might match up to. If you would like me to do that, pop it in the comments and let me know and I would be more than happy to do it for absolutely free because I am all about helping my fellow artists grow along with me, you know? So just let me know guys and I would be absolutely happy to do that. This one is a little sharper, not too much though. I think I'm about ready to replace the uh, blade in it though. It's getting a little dull. You have to be careful when that happens because then your your pencil leads will break a little more. I have yet to have one break. Whereas with the Prismas, they're just splitting and breaking constantly, just outright crumbling sometimes. It's it's just ridiculous. I love how creamy they are and, and stuff like that, but the quality is just... Uh, I'm too used to the, the stuff like the Krondosh and um, other pencils like that that are infinitely better made. Dark Pearl. So I'm very, very skeptical of a lot of the really budget pencils like Shuttle R. I had some of those ones and actually got so irritated with them that I, I gave them away to a bunch of neighborhood kids that were in this one family. I said, hey, you guys want some free pencils? And of course they didn't say no. <laughs> uh, I just, and I know like a lot of people like the color and I don't know, I just, Castle Arts is one of the few budget pencils that I deal with. Um, them and like Black Widow, there's a few, but they're very few. Uh, I just cannot ha handle some of them. They're just, the way they lay and sharpen and all this stuff, it's just too, drives me bonkers. So we have Flint, and so far things seem to be in order, so, uh, but I guess I'll have to check the next, the final layer too, because now I don't trust them at all. <laughs> and I don't, know, I, when I email them, I'm not going to be nasty about it, but I'm going to say, hey, you guys, that's kind of a, a crowded control issue you might want to work on. Because if I hadn't caught it, it would have really messed up my swatch sheet. If I had just gone and not been looking and paying attention, that would have been super annoying. I don't know. They might have sent me a new one, probably. Uh, I should ask, right? Yeah, I think I will. Bra brass brassic Brassica? Oh, my God. Okay, Brassica. Yeah, I don't even know what that means, but okay. I'm gonna roll with it. I have no idea what that name means. Does it sound English though? I kind of like this music. I got playing on my e epidemic music, which, by the way, I would highly recommend if you do videos and things like that. It's really, really nice. It's like a subscription you pay for like once a year. It's really, really worth it. Absolutely worth it. 100% worth it. That's nice. Okay, we have mink. Let's move this over here a little bit. Okay, make sure you guys are, can see. Okay, we're good. I just want to make sure every now and then I'm still in frame because, you know, things get moved around and stuff. And it's not going to do you much good if you can't see. So, this is nice. They're right, they are very subtle. Some are softer than others. Like I said before, these were pretty scratchy. These are pretty soft and these are really soft. So, I guess it really does, does depend on the, um, on the pigments. Nightshade, which by the way is highly poisonous. 
just for the record. It is a real plant. Um, I don't think it's a mushroom, but I'm not 100% sure at the moment, but it, uh, the Romans used it, used to use it to like poison each other or commit suicide. Yeah. There's a whole, you look it up, Google it. It's nice shade is extremely poisonous. Worse than like arsenic. Now in moderate small doses, there have been some uh, health things, medical things that people have done with it, but you have to be extremely careful and do, you know, go to somebody that absolutely knows about it in depth. Okay, that's a nice color. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I thought about speeding this up, but I don't know. I wanted you guys to see and feel how I was feeling about the pencils as I was laying them down. Because it's a first time reaction for me, so I thought that would be helpful for you. It, this is laying down pretty nice. You can hear the scratch, scratch, scratch. But that's okay, it doesn't bother me. I, I love the scratch, scratch of a, like a pastel pencil. Oh my gosh, that's like so a ASMR for me. <laughs> Just that, it's so therapeutic. I know, I'm weird, but I love it. And like the scratch, scratch of a glass tip pen. Whoops, outside the lines. See, I do color outside the lines sometimes. Okay, what do we have next? Eggplant. Hmm, that's pretty true. Oops, I'm gonna have to clean that up later, but that's okay. Hmm, that's a nice color. I gotta go back and fix this. Sorry, y'all. I just can't take it. It's it's bugging me too much. <laughs> uh, that's so much better, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I had to. <laughs> All right. Tempest. And so far, things are still in order. So <laughs> for now. Like, if you're going to number things in order, then the pencils need to be in that order, right? Or am I just asking too much here? Oh, that's a nice color. Ooh, this would be an excellent color for a galaxy picture or a, a, a evening sky type picture. Okay, so we have deep Aegean. I know that's going to be hard. Like, think of it like this. Okay, okay. Think of the Aegean Sea. That's how that's pronounced. Aegean. Aegean. Ugh. Something of that sort. I know, it's... It's a little difficult. Hopefully that helps, though. That's probably what it's named after, though. Hmm. It's an interesting color. These are all very interesting colors. I'm not 100% crazy about the paper, but it is nice and thick, so. Hmm. That's not bad. They are very subtly different, but they're very nice. Dark Iris. Okay.
I just have to keep looking at my camera because I've been getting like so much spam lately. Oh my God. I've been getting so much spam on my phone. Unfortunately, when I get a call, it kicks me out of my recording. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see. Harbor Blue. This ought to be interesting. It's really annoying when it does that. <laughs> And, so, and I don't know that it's happened until I happen to notice. Because there's no, like, ding or noise or anything to tell me that it's happened. I don't hear anything ring. It's just, yeah. I might have to resort to putting my phone on Do Not Disturb or something like that. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's very nice. All right, let's move on. We have inky blue. And I'm double checking too. <laughs> I'm always double checking now. Oh my gosh. I didn't think it would be that messed up, but yeah. Ooh, this one's laying down rather interesting like hmm a little scratchy but not too bad oh it's laying down really smoothly though some of them are like that one for example but this one's laying down pretty smoothly Hmm, that's nice. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's see, blueberry. Okay, this better look like a blueberry. Let's let's see. not scratchy pretty smooth huh that's nice I like that whoopsie okay so we are under topaz there we go now we're starting into more of the blues so this ought to be pretty all right here we go It's a, this one's a little scratchy. I can tell by the way it's laying down. The creamier one's laid down with a little less. And I'm coloring with a very light hand. And it's still kind of leaving, you know, color marks like that. So, um, yeah. This one, this one's a little scratchy. But it's really nice. This is more of a blueberry color to me than that, but... Blueberries aren't really purple. They're blue. That's why they're called blueberries. <laughs> That's more of a blueberry to me than that. Uh, depending, I guess, what blueberry you have. But this is more of a blueberry to me. I don't know. That's just my humble opinion. Oh, let's see. Night blue.
That's not bad. This is also another good color for a galaxy or for a evening sky type picture. I've got a handmade Etsy watercolor that looks almost exactly like this. And a Cron Dash Neo 2 that's about the same color too. Wow, that's really nice. I like that. That one will get used a lot. Ocean Sapphire? That's nice. I like that. Let's oh, see, so what do we have next? Petrol blue? Huh, okay. Did I read that? Yeah? Petrol blue? Oh, that's an interesting choice of name. Okay. Most of my truck petrol wasn't blue, but okie dokie, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'm just reading the name wrong and I'm, I'm not really sure if i'm saying it wrong let me know i don't mind <laughs> i like to be able to pronounce things correctly it's kind of what i get for having a mom who's a retired school teacher <laughs> which i'm very proud of all right Genetian blue. Okay, let's get over here so you guys can see. That's pretty. That'd be a great sky color right there. All right, and I think we have one more in this tray. And it is forget me not. Let's see how true that is. Okay. Well, this is a pretty light color. I'm trying to get it to show up, but wow, these are great sky colors. Ooh. All right, so last and final layer. Now, let's double check to make sure they're in order first. <laughs> I don't trust these people no more. <laughs> 49, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4. Oh, see, there we are. There's one out of order. There's two. There's, okay, there's 55, 56, 57, okay. Damn, man, that's really, oh yeah, they're definitely gonna be hearing from me about that. That's just annoying. 
62. Sorry, guys. There, I got some gnat running around in my house. It's driving me bonkers. All right. Wildlife and stuff needs to stay outside. 64. 65. 66. Uh-oh. Definitely not. There's there's another one out of order. 67. 68. 69. Come on, Easter thing. It's not cooperating. What? There we go. Nine seventy uh, seventy-one's not in the right spot. Okay. Yep, I would definitely recommend checking your your pencils to make sure they're in order before you do you go straight into the swatching. I would highly recommend it, people. You 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 can see why. So let's get this finished up. And we'll talk a little more. Mosaic blue. Ooh, okay. Uh, this is kind of scratchy, but it's okay. A little bit. I don't, like I said, I don't really mind scratchy, per se. It doesn't really bother me. But some people I know it does, so that's why I'm just mentioning it. This one might be a little scratchy to some people. Wow, that's nice. All right, so next we have duck egg. Okay, I can tell you this looks nothing like the duck eggs I get. I could go get you one for my fridge. This is just not the color of a duck egg. My duck eggs are kind of brown. Like chicken eggs almost. Huh. Well, okay. I don't know what duck eggs they're using, but okay. Robin egg maybe. Yeah, this is definitely not a duck egg color. So, I don't know what ducks they have that make this color eggshell, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> and this one is definitely kind of scratchy. So, if that's not your thing, this one is definitely scratchy. But it's pretty. But it is scratchy. Okay. C cumulus? Oh, okay. So, for those who don't know that, cumulus is a type of cloud. It's a type of cloud. I don't remember exactly like which, but it's a type of cloud structure. And uh, other such things, it's, it's cloud stuff. Having a hard time getting some of these paler ones to show up, though. Uh, I will hold this very close to the camera, or I'll, uh, as I said before, or I'll zoom in or something like that, because some of these are not going to show up. But not after, not before I've cleaned all of that up. <laughs> okay, let's see, aloe green. Yep, and it checks out. So the rest of these should be straight. So. Let's say that's pretty close to aloe. I have an aloe plant in my backyard, so I can I know from which I speak, and it's more. This looks more like the inside of an aloe vera plant, not the the clear gel, because the gel the aloe is clear, but it's that membrane that's between the clear gel and the plant is this color.
I would show you, but that stuff is messy as all get out. It is, it is God's answer to slime, but it's a fantastic healing kind of slime. <laughs> Pale apple. Hmm, okay. What I'm going to do is color a picture, a small one, like I was showing you earlier from one of those little um, vignettes uh, uh, that I have. And, uh, you know, I'll post that with the image. At some point, I might do one of those pictures that they uh, posted, uh, but that probably won't be till later on down the road. Sea foam green. That's one of my favorite colors. They better not disappoint me. It's a little sharpened. I actually love this color, so they better not disappoint me. Ooh, they have not. That's pretty. And none of these have broken yet. Unlike my Prismas, <laughs> not a one of these has broken yet or splintered. They seem to be fairly evenly um, placed in the casing. Because if you, you can't tell because they've got them capped, but I can tell when I sharpen it that it's sharpened pretty evenly all the way around. There's a little dip here versus here, but it's not too bad. I've seen much worse. Much, much worse. So, that's, it's respectable. Mellow Sage. Okay. That's a funny name. Why not just call it Sage? Why Mellow Sage? I don't understand that. <laughs> what was in their head? You know, when they came up with that, I just would love to know. Get inside their brain and just ask them why did you come up with that name that way? These are absolutely extraordinary. Whoa. This color's extraordinary. They are absolutely unique. Ah, uh, moss is our next color. Hmm. It's an okay color. I, it seems to be accurate. All right. We have olive gray. Okay. And double check on the map here. I got so much fun stuff to review you guys. This was one of my birthday presents to myself because my birthday was this past Thursday. I'm not going to say how old, but old enough. Um, this is one of the things that I treated myself to. Sit, si, Cyrus? 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 I don't know, guys. I can't. Let me know in the comments if you guys can help me pronounce this. Come on, focus. C-I-R-R-U-S. Like, I want to say Sirius, like Sirius XM Radio, but I don't think that's it. I don't know. All right, let's just see what it looks like. It's very pale. I think this might actually be a type of cloud too. I'm not 100% certain. So don't quote me, but I th think this might be a type of cloud too. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
an interesting color. All right. We have Ash. Anyone else like me find swatching to be oddly satisfying? Besides the fact that it serves a very real purpose, uh, I just find it sort of oddly satisfying, whether it be paint, pencils, markers, whatever. Swatching is oddly very satisfying. Oh, I'm sorry. Pe pebble. I just find it oddly satisfying. I have two swatch books for my colored pencils, one for my wet media, and then one for the other. Well, they're both wet media, but One's one type and one's another. They, it, they're, it's, they're very useful to have on hand when you're trying to decide how to color things and whatnot. Okay, so we have pewter. I'd say that's a fairly accurate assessment. A little on the pale side, maybe, but mm, I think it's reasonably accurate. Okay, so next we have Wild Time. Uh oh. Little issue here, but nothing major. I don't know if you could tell, but the Wild is didn't fully print and the TH did not fully print. It, it's no big deal, but when you do budget pencils which these are budget pencils they're not like uber budget but they're still budget pencils sometimes quality control can be an issue and that's just a quality control issue it's no big deal it doesn't affect the, how the pencil lays down or works or anything of that sort but to me it just shows um that they weren't uh Paying attention. But the pencils overall are very nice. I would so far definitely recommend them. Pencil doesn't want to come out of the tray. All right. Pine uh, green. I love pine green. It's one of my favorite colors. Excellent, excellent color for um, when you're dark, you're medium, you're light. This would be a great dark to mid tone, depending on how hard you uh, push with the, you know, how much pigment you uh, lay down. That's a nice color. I like it. Okay, we're almost done. All right. Storm Gray. Which is kind of like a blue gray. Very nice for when you're doing the cooler temperature pictures. That's nice. 
It's a little scratchy, but that's okay. That's pretty nice. I like it. All right. We're almost done, guys. Bayberry? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This reminds me almost of a Viridian, if I'm being absolutely honest. This is not far from being Viridian to me. It's it's close in my opinion. But I think that would be a fun idea. Um, I was, I'm still thinking about that comparison uh, thing. I think I will do that. Um, I think that would be fun to see what I can match up with it. That's an interesting color. Let's lay it down a little darker so I can see. That's pretty nice. They lay down really good, too. Uh, let's see. Seaweed? This is one of those cases where what you see is not what's going to lay down. Because I know what real seaweed looks like. And I bet you it looks nothing like that. <laughs> but I'll bet you it looks like this. Isn't that wild though? I mean you look at that. And then you look at that. And they just don't match up. It's just. <sighs> the wonder of color. <laughs> And why, again, it's important to swatch. Even if you don't like it, suck it up. You will thank yourself later, I promise you. You will not regret it. All right, we're getting down to the wire. Let's go. Wisteria, one of my favorite colors. Let me make sure. Okay. Double checking because I'm so like uber paranoid now. <laughs> They're going to be messed up. Oh. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, that laid down very nice. A little scratchy, but not too bad. Oh, that's pretty. Mystery is one of my favorite colors. That's really nice. All right, we have sour berry. Ooh, what kind of sour berry? <laughs> I don't know, I ask dumb questions. What can I say? Hmm, interesting. I've got a half a mind to Google sour berry and just see what comes up. <laughs> Let's see what kind of sour berry they nicknamed it after. Huh, cool. Almost done. All right, plum. This is appropriate. Hmm, that's pretty nice. Three more. Whew. Be beetroot. laying down pretty nicely all, all things considered 
I will say this though, I'm not a fan of this paper. It's thick, but I don't know. Not a fan. All right, two more. Amaretto. Let's get this over here. Mm, I haven't seen Amaretto in a long time, so I'm really not sure of how accurate this is. This one is definitely scratchy. I can just tell by the way it's laying down. This one is definitely scratchy. But it does smush decently, so they're, they're, that's pretty good. It smushes nicely. Hmm, that's nice. All right, last but not least, Rosie Stone. Ooh, the first one I've had that has crumbled on me. Did you guys see that? This is the first one that's actually done that. I don't know if you can see that. This is the first one I've had that has um, crumbled like that. Out of all 72 pencils, this is the only one that's done that. That's for a budget pencil. That is that is pretty good. I'm actually rather impressed that it hasn't happened up to this point. So I don't know if the, all the ones in the sets are gonna be in the are gonna be like this, but this one did crumble, so a little bit significantly. So That's just something to uh, be aware of. All right, people, we are done. So let's get all these back in their trays. Ta -da. I want to see, hopefully it won't make this video run too long. And this is what it looks like. Ta-da! I want to see what it looks like on, on black paper, sketch paper. And look what, this is one of this paper that came with a bundle of, of Castle Art pencils when I bought the full set in the tin. Uh, this black paper came with it. It is an A5, uh, 135 GCM, so it's pretty good let's see i'm really curious about something i want to see what some of these look like i guess i shouldn't have put this all back but there's some that i actually want to see um i'm just going to pick a couple out at random from each tray let's try one of the lighter ones this one is wheatgrass make sure i'm on camera okay Let's see how the wheatgrass looks. Well, that's nice. Look at that. And there, this paper, by the way, is really, it's worth getting. It's definitely worth getting. Let's try a slightly darker one. Porpoise. Well, it's showing up, but not as much. So let's try one more. Let's try this one. Pumice. Ooh, look at that. That's not bad. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's see. Let's see what the sweet lilac looks like. Ooh, very nice. Uh, let's try Genetian blue. Ooh, whoa, that's great. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. That might be the best one yet. Oh, let's try one more. Let's try the dark iris. Mm, that's 
much as I would have thought. Uh, let's try one more. Forget me not. Hold up. Wow, that's nice. Where did it go? There it is. Wow. Hmm. I think I want to do one more. It's a dusty rose. Ooh. That's pretty. Wow. All right, let's try some from the third layer. This is kind of cool. Uh, oh, here we go. Seafoam. One of my absolute favorite colors. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, let's try this one. I believe this one was rosy stone. That's not bad. It's always worth testing your stuff out on black paper because you things can show up massively different. Uh, you would be amazed just how different. Let's try the duck egg. Ooh, that shows up really good. Look at that. Ooh. Let's see. Let's pick one more. I'm looking. Eeny, meeny, meeny. Oh, here, here we go. Beetroot. Wow, that's it. Shows up, but in a much more subtle way. Wow. Hmm. Kind of curious about wild th time. Whoa, that's good. These, the majority of these, um, show up, seem to show up really well on the black paper. Wow. That's cool. I don't want to take the time to show all of them, but you get the idea that most of these show up fairly nicely, um, on the black paper. So what I'm going to do is pick a page from one of my little vignettes and I will color that and include that with the video when I upload it. So guys, have a great one. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay cool. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.